That's the zebra crossing there. Leandro, have a baby. Yeah. It's a good day for the whole month that I got done in the CFD. But we know our wrist trash on our whole heap of cap. Who's in the wrong? Who's in the right? So when you get here, everyone likes to speed up and speed through. Clearly she's in the front. So it should have been her going right. But because he's in a BM, he probably thought, move your little fucking Toyota Igo or whatever. And now look. His arms house. <clears throat> I need to get to work, so I just hope my boss is going to be able to get down the road. Mm -hmm. If they start thumping each other up, I'll turn back on. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly, I was gonna go on Airbnb and check some Airbnbs for Jamaica. I woke up to find that Airbnb have blocked me, removed my account permanently, saying it breaches their terms and conditions and their data. I'm confused because I've never booked anything on Airbnb. I've never messaged anybody on Airbnb to ask about their property. I've never listed any property on Airbnb. Why am I blocked on Airbnb? Like, I'm confused. So I called up the man and I'm like, hi, I can't get in, whatever. So I'm speaking to the man and the man's asking me for my phone number. So I'm giving him my phone number, my old one, because I've changed it. And then he's like, no, that's not the number. So I give him my new number. I'm thinking, okay, perhaps it's this number. He's like, it's not the number. I'm like, I don't have any other numbers on this account. He's like, yeah, it's not the number. So I'm like to him, well, there must be fraud that's being done on my account because I don't understand why I can't get into my Airbnb. Like, it makes no sense why you have removed me from the platform. I've literally done nothing. I haven't even logged in in ages. I was just randomly going to log in and have a look around. I told him it must be fraud on my account. Spoke to Leanne. Leanne's telling me that lately she's been getting some notifications that people are booking her Airbnb. Leanne don't have an Airbnb. People are booking and paying for her Airbnb and she doesn't have an Airbnb. She herself has been dashed out of her account or she closed it and is not going to be able to get back in. Is this how people are chopping the line now? Like doing Airbnb stuff with people's accounts? How can you book me off Airbnb? I've never done nothing, guys. The level of hurt is perplexing. First, what I did was... They said to me, I've violated their terms and use or whatever, whatever. So I sent an email, confirmed my identity with my passport. Some batty whole man's emailed me back. Oh, sorry. At this time, we're gonna uphold it and we're gonna ban you and remove your account permanently. I've sent an email back, why? Oh, we don't have to tell you. You violated our policy and we don't have to tell you what you did. I 
compatible with the race card because my picture's on the Airbnb. So you're telling me I'm blocked and basically telling me I ate that. I saw it go. Like I said, I don't use Airbnb, so it don't really matter to me if they block me. But it's the fact that I'm not invited to the party anymore that's really bothering me. Like, I couldn't go on Airbnb if I tried, and it's pissing me off. Because they're stopping me from even creating a new account. Like, they don't they don't want me in the crew. But so now I'm convinced that somebody has done fraud, and especially the Anne story is showing me that people are doing fraud with Airbnb. So, be careful. Be careful. Um, drinks, we need to It smells nice down here. It smells like rice. What's that? Selfish. Five pounds? Yeah. Is that too expensive? Yeah. Cost of living's really gone up. I thought you buy that nice salt fish, that fresh one. And it looks like a whole fish. Or was that mackerel? Oh. Maybe sit here. How are this? See it, yeah? Hey, this it here. What? This sort of fish. This. Ain't that what you buy? This is macro. Oh, it says sort of fish limited. <laughs> okay. Shows that I don't know if I can cheat. I don't know, but I'll just leave it, mum. Because you're looking at pigtail. Can't help yourself. What's that? Salt beef. Salt beef. For one pound. Have you had these before? Oh, it's so nice. And the peanut jar together with onion. Yeah. They're not big. How long she left Jamaica? long she left Jamaica? You think she was born there? No, my dad was, not my mom. No. <laughs> Her brother was. <laughs> mom, how long you left Jamaica? <laughs> These ones. These ones. Then they are Aji crackers. Then they are Oa crackers. Do you want this one? Yes, I'll. I'll, I'll. And then here. Then I'm going to take a look up. Yeah, yeah. This nice one here, with the minty man in there. Oh, that one? Yeah. Mum, <coughs> Timo said, these are Aussie crackers. These are young people crackers. Aussie crackers, <laughs> young <laughs> people crackers. Yeah, yeah, you can have the old five of this buy and five of this buy. Yeah. This I got there for the whole month that I got done in the CFD. Look at all this peeled garlic. This don't feel right. It feels lazy, isn't it? But I would like it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a good idea though. You know, if you have a restaurant, it's easier for you to do that than a ski. So, how much is this then? Oh, $5.99. $5.99 for peeled garlic. Something feels illegal about peeled garlic. Have we got garlic at all? You think so? Yeah? You think so? But there's no harm in more garlic. How much is a case? $13.99. How much is it in your other shop? Oh, is it? Okay. Thank Can you. I have a case, please? Yeah. Uh, you want a light one or original? No, original. Original. Okay, I'll give you the case. Thank you. Thank you. I do like cake. Yeah. Saltfish for a mix. Yeah. Good. Let's see. Johnny cake. Let's see. They know I'm going to see them. <laughs> what are they, babe? Is it? Original cheese tricks. Is it? Get more. Hey, hey. <laughs> take a picture. Take a picture. Send it in. I say when I send you another one. Original cheese tricks. Like this. Mm. <laughs> Look, Kiki. <Yeah. laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Guys, Let's just put him on top, please. Bun and cheese. What? We cheek. Bun and cheese. I will kick them too. Oh. I think a festival mix. Taki, taki, taki. And I'm thinking I would love some syrup. 
ages. Wasn't this the original syrup or was it Grace's? I'm sure it was the Johnson. I remember drinking this syrup. The Johnson? Yeah. Johnson? <laughs> Pure syrup and Andrea syrup. Is it? Yeah, but yeah. Grace. <laughs> Which? Grace. Yeah. But they don't have strawberry. Oh, they do. They have strawberry, mama. I don't know where they put Jamaica flag on it. I never said that Jamaica flag on it. Thank you. Alright, girl. Thank you. Who, me? No, I was not vexed. So if you know me, you know I suffer from immense period pain. This is for all my girls who suffer from immense period pain. I've heard if you boil dog blood that is in here. It looks a bit gross, but it don't taste gross. If you boil dog blood, you will no longer need ibuprofen or anything like that. And if you have fibroids, it can help you with fibroids as well. And this is it here. That's the boiled product. I'm going to add it to the bottle and then I'm going to drink it over seven days. And then we're going to see how my next period is. Because as I've gotten older, my period has gotten worse. It's super heavy. It's super painful and it's ridiculous. And I have a fibroid. I have one that is quite big and it's causing me problems so i've boiled dog blood here is the finished product again very brown and swampy and i'm going to drink it for seven days if you're scared to drink bush like jamaican bushes like bush stuff if you're scared to drink bush tea then they're not all bitter dog blood is not bitter it doesn't have a taste it smells funny but it has no taste it just tastes a bit woody you know a bit swampy but it doesn't have a bitter taste and you can add honey to it to make it taste better but i'm not going to do that i want the concentrated stuff so this is it guys i will let you know how i feel by the time my next period comes and i'm not going to tell you no lies so the finished product <laughs> my goddaughter let me see your face push she done it herself she's so talented you're so talented my other goddaughter <laughs> my niece niecey weecey why are you so fucking bumble clock miserable? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she cut her eye. Guys, we came here in the rain. We parked oh. in the mud. Look, look. We've been queuing mm -hmm. since 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> the queue goes all around. And we're still in the queue. We've been in the queue for Evs. Look. We started here. And we're only here. Like half an hour later what's this bag check yeah it doesn't i don't know i don't know do you not want to go in this queue we'll stay here we'll come here then no you're splitting the group you're splitting the group then you should have come in this queue and not went over there <laughs> look past sexy Sexy shinies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> bule, 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 rocking everywhere. Bule, 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 rocking everywhere. Bule, 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 rocking everywhere. Rocking everywhere. Rocking everywhere. Fuck's sake, I stepped in a fucking to go home it's a fucking disaster today what the flip no i'm confused why would it be why is it is it is it the queue this is what i'm asking now she doesn't know anything she does know she's just not saying i wonder if i should go back to the front
delivery time, guys. This is how mashup it came. Um, okay. Nothing left in there. So, so I got some Elemis um, face products. Elemis is quite expensive. I heard a lot of good things about it and I really hope that it works. So this is the Skin Refining Cleanser, um, a dynamic resurfacing facial wash. This is the Soothing Apricot Toner. I didn't do any research on what, I didn't do any research on how good these products actually are. I just went onto the Enemies website and started buying shit. And um, because I heard Enemies was so good, I thought, how bad can it be? So, I'll give an update at some point, but yeah. My uh, weekly quick unboxing or whatever, whatever. Sorry if I find very, sorry if I sound very somber, guys. I've got period pain, period pain. I beat me bad, but I had to unbox this for you lot. So delivery man just came. When I told you lot, I was obsessed with my noodles. <laughs> my buy <bye>, totty. <laughs> 30 noodles because we're obsessed in this house. Per. I was hoping that was gonna go smoother. <laughs> Guys, I usually get the pink one. The pink one is still prawn, but this one is prawn tom yum, so it's slightly like a creamier broth. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm, it sticks in it. The Pine Street now. I know, I know. You better clean that Look fuck up. Now. Mom, don't go down there and start nothing. No, it's enough. Them down there, they're all arguing. Yeah. These people here in the huddle. <laughs> so my fiance just got me a gift that is so sweet i love them moments where you just have to show someone something one time and then boom you get it mm. But as I strain the carrot, as you may say, look how the trash look rich, you can eat it. But when I want rich trash, I want a whole heap of carrot juice. I get on the shine here. So I'm just going to strain it out and I'll do the right thing for Jalan, and don't it? Mm -hmm. It's a whole heap of carrot juice, yeah. Whole heap of carrot juice. And then we don't have to blend up some ginger and fling in there. You get what I'm saying, yeah? Yeah, man. So I'm going to do it. Yeah? Juicy. Juicy, juicy in a blood clot. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one is pure, and this one has been blended with water and then pressed. Yeah, and then we're gonna mix the two of them together and make them become unified. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rich, poor, and we're gonna mix them, and then it's gonna be what? Mm. 
<laughs> We're gonna mix them together and then what? What will it become? Um, carrot juice. Oh, another fun fact is there's never food in this fridge. The only place there's food is in the freezer. There's always drink in my house. Only drink. Food in the freezer, food in the cupboard, but there's ever any food in the fridge. Who found this? You're hey again, babe. You're hungry, but you can't thirsty. <laughs> you're hungry, but you can't thirsty. Hiya. Can I crack my food? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, please? Oh, Denise Williams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> It's the 23rd of November and the weather today is nice. It reminds me of, you know when winter's kind of ending and then summer's coming and you can feel it heating up? It gives me that kind of nostalgic feeling. The weather today is so nice guys. It's just cool and it's cool breeze and it's so warm. I feel like you can even wear a t-shirt. Minno, so that man over there hot. Because I'm in a jumper, I'm in a sweater, and I am hot. Not a jumper and a sweater, but I'm in a sweater and leggings. I'm in a hat like. So me no say him in a beanie hat in his flipping puffer jacket and his backpack. I treat them hot. He's baking. It's such a flipping nice day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 